जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जन भल्लव गिरेवर धारे गोपी जन भल्लव गिरेवर धारे यशोदनांदना ब्रज जन राम जना यशोदनांदना ब्रज जन राम जन यमुन तीर वन चारे यमुना तीर बल चारे जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारे गोपी जन बल्लब गिरिवर धारे गोपी जन बल्लब गिरिवर धारे यशो दन दन ब्रज जन राम जन यशो दन दन ब्रज जन राम जन यमुन तेरा बन चारे यमुन तेरा बन चारे जय राधा माधव राध माधव राधे जय राध गोपी नाद गोपी नाधे जय राध राध पट सटी राध पट सटी राधे जय राधा पट सटी राध पट सटी राधे ओम विश्वपाद प्रमसा परिब्राज के चरे अस्तोत्र सची श्रीमद हे शिवाय गई शिल भय चरणारविंद भक्त बिदांत स्वयं महाराज शिल प्रापाद की जाय जय निचली लिस्तों विश्वपाद परम सा परिब्राज गचार्य अस्तो तरस ची श्रीमद हे शिवाय गई शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती ठकुर गोस्वाय महाराज शिल प्रापाद की जय अनंत खोति वैष्णव बिंद की जय जय श्री रूप श्री सनातन बत रघुनाथ श्री जीव गोपाल बात दास रघुनाथ सज गो स्वामी स्वरूप की जय नाम चय शिला हरिदास ठकुर की जय 
प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार शिवा सदि गौर भक्त बिन की जाय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोप गोपिन श्याम कुंद राधा कुंद गिरी गोवर्धन की जाय श्री ब्रजभूमि वृंदावन धाम की जाय मथुर धाम की जाय श्री नवद्वीप मायपुर धाम की जाय गंगा माय की जाय यमुना माय की जाय तुलसी देवी की जाय भक्ति देवी की जाय श्री हरि नाम संकीर्तन की जाय संकीर्तन यज्ञ की जाय शाम वेर भक्त बिंद की जाय ग्रंथराज श्रीमद भागवतम की जाय निताय गौर प्रेमानंदे All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to Siguru and Sigo Ranga. Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Bhishtaya Budle. Shimari Gopal Krishna Gurushami Tramini. Prabhu Padasya Sai Jamya Pagasya Vithirja. Charanga Balsada Vipati Namaha. नम ओं विष्णु पदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नमस्ते नमस्ते सरस्वतीदेवी गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषुन्यवारी पश्चाचारिणे ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय रीडिंग फ्रॉम द श्रीमद भागवतम भागवत पुराना कैंटो फॉर द क्रिएशन ऑफ द फोर्थ ऑर्डर चैप्टर ट्वेंटी सेवन attacked by chandavega and the city of king puranjana the character of kalakanya reading from text 16 sa saptabhi satair eko bim satya cha satam sama पुरंजनापुरक्ष गंधर्वायुधे बलि सप्तर्को विंशतिया चाशता पुरंजनापुरक्ष गंधर्वायुधे बलि सा सप्तभे सतर एको विंशतिया चाशतम सुरंजनापुरक्ष गंधर्वायुधे बलि सप्तबीर सतर एको विंशत्याशतम सम
word for word meaning sa he saptabhi with seven satai hundred eka alone bimsatya with twenty cha also satam hundred sama years puranjana of king puranjana pura adyaksha superintendent of the city gandharvai with the gandharvas yudhe fought bali very valiant Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. The five hooded serpent, the superintendent and protector of the city of King Puranjana, fought with the Gandharvas for 100 years. He fought alone with all of them, although they numbered 720. Srila Prabhupada's purport. The 360 days and 360 nights combined to become the 720 soldiers of Chandavega time. One has to fight these soldiers throughout one's lifespan, beginning with birth and ending with death. This fight is called the struggle for existence. Despite this struggle, however, the living entity does not die. As confirmed in the Bhagavad Gita, chapter 2, text 20, the living entity is eternal. Najayate miriyate vakadache nayang butba vavita vanabuya ajonitya sasvato yam purano nahanyate hanyamani sarire. For the soul, there is never birth nor death, nor having once been, does he ever cease to be. He is unborn, eternal, ever existing, undying, and primeval. He is not slain when the body is slain. Actually, the living entity does not take birth, nor does he die. But he has to fight with the stringent laws of material nature throughout the entire span of his lifetime. He must also face different kinds of miserable condition. Despite all this, the living entity, due to illusion, thinks that he is well situated in sense gratification. Thus end the Bhaktivedanta Purport, Canto 4 of the Srimad Bhagavatam, Chapter 27, Text 16 of the Srimad Bhagavatam. Om Agyananti Mirandasya Gyanangyana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Vena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Sri Chaitanya Manovistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Tadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Jutapada Kamalang Shri Gurung Vaishnavamsha Shri Rupam Sagrajatan Sahagana Ragunatan Bitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sadvadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Sri Vishakam Bitam Sha He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dinavando Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vindavanisvare Sabhano Sute Devi 
प्रणमामि हरि प्रिये वंचा कल्पतरुभ्यशा किपासिंदु व्यवचा पतितानाम पावने भ्यो बैष्णवे भ्यो नमो नमः जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद सियद्वैत गदाधार शिवासदि गौर भक्त बिंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सशब्द भी सतर एको विंशत्यशतम समा पुराजन पुराजक्षो गंधर्व युयुधि बलि So the allegorical narration by Narad Muni towards King Prachini Baharhisat continues. In this episode, Narad Muni, being a an eternal liberated soul, is instructing King Prachini Bharisat the futility of the human form of life. And therefore, he is giving this allegorical explanation about another king. Hmm? What's the name of the king? Huh? Puranjan. King Puranjan is the body which is not eternal. It's temporary, it's material. Every living being who took birth in this material world takes a form of body which cannot be uh, have eternally he has to die it's just a matter of time time is the controlling the impersonal feature of the supreme lord that controls everyone time is relative like lord brahma's time is different than our time our time is different than the microbes time hmm? we're supposed to live for a hundred years but in Kali Yuga it's not it's not possible to live for a hundred years unless you are uh, a devotee that eats nice prasad not overeating also what to say of non devotees who live junk foods, they eat unnecessary, non-vegetarian, and so on. So we're given for, to live for a hundred years. And this hundred years, rarely one can be achieved nowadays. And within that 100 years, we have one year that comprised with 360 Days and 360 nights. Hmm? Day and night means 24 hours. 12 hours night, supposed to be. 12 hours day. Hmm? So in one year, we have 360 days and 360 nights. And then you combine them together, it becomes 720. These are the soldiers of Chandavega. Time. So one has to, says here, one has to fight these soldiers throughout one's lifetime. Beginning with birth and ending with death. Why is it enemy? Fight. You don't fight with friends. Well, sometimes you do. But usually we fight with enemies. Is that correct? Enemy, if it's not favorable... 
if we don't use the day and night for being Krishna conscious, he says that we're passing our days uselessly. We're not learning anything. We're not earning anything. Every day we must learn something about Krishna consciousness so that we can make further progress spiritually. Otherwise, if we waste our days and nights without learning something to make advancement in Krishna consciousness, then we're like a living dead. You know what's a living dead? You live, but actually you're, you're, you're a dead person. It's like useless, waste of time. So this fight is what we call struggle for existence. One nation is struggling to exist against another nation. One society is struggling to exist against another society. One family existing, uh, struggling to exist another from another family and one person mm. struggling for existence means fighting for life. In the material world is compared to a forest, forest of existence, so many wild animals. If you go to a forest, it's highly impossible to survive. Especially if you don't have any defense with you. But nowadays, we have what you called uh, modern civilization. Most of the people, they live in the jungle, the city jungle. It's a jungle also. So many wild people live in the cities. It's like before coming a few months ago, we were in uh, New York. It's called Zoo York. Hmm? If you go to a city, a big city, you don't know anybody. You don't have any friends. You don't have any relatives. You are just on your own. It is highly impossible to survive. In Delhi, maybe you will survive. Hmm? But in big, big cities in the world, highly impossible. Everyone is struggling hard to exist, to maintain themselves. Hmm? Because everyone is looking for happiness. Jai si Sirada Partasarti, Lalita Visaka Devi ki jai, si Sitaram Lakshman Hanuman ki jai, si si Gornitai ki jai, Guru Parampara ki jai. Everyone is struggling hard to exist. That means everyone wants to be happy. Unfortunately, it is not possible to be happy as long as we identify with the body. And this is our main disease. Our main disease, that's why we still keep coming again and again in this material world, in different species, different life. Birth after birth is because we identify with the body. Identification with the body means mental platform. Mental platform because we always make plan. We always make plans how to be happy. That is the nature of the soul. Hmm? Ananda Maya Vyasat. But unfortunately, no one can be happy as long as one wants to enjoy materially. It's not possible. Only when one comes to the understanding that he is not the body, he is a spirit soul, and start to inquire, as is mentioned in the Sastras, 
अथतो ब्रह्म जिज्ञासा The living entity does not die, it's only the body that dies. Unfortunately, we're so attached with our body that we don't want to die. We don't want to give up this body. Thinking I'm Indian, I'm American, I'm Hindu, I'm Muslim, Christians. Huh? The soul never dies. So the soul wants something eternal. Unfortunately, nowadays, people doesn't want something eternal. People want something which is like very quick, very fast, immediate. Hmm? So it's not possible. It's not possible. And especially, today is Durga Puja. That means worship of Durga Devi, Durga Mata. That means worship. And after their worship, the people who want material sense enjoyment, they actually do Durga Puja. This is for nine days. Today is the seventh day. There are nine forms of Durga. She's the predominating deity of the material energy. She is the one who puts us into illusion, into maya. She is the one who makes sure that we don't get out of this material world. Why? Because we want material things. So after the puja, they will ask many, many things. Dehi, dehi. I want this, I want this. They have a long list of prayers. Danam Dehi, Griha Dehi. Uh, I, want a new, I want a new car. I want a beautiful wife. I want a beautiful husband, wonderful husband. Now the gopis also worship another feature of Durga, Katyayani. Is that material? No. Because they're asking Katyayani to have Krishna as their husband. When we give up everything for the pleasure of Krishna, there is no more material sense enjoyment that will haunt us. Durga Devi, if one surrenders unto Krishna 100%, Durga Devi will say, Well, you prove yourself. What can I do? I cannot do anything about you. You're not anymore under my superintendency. Not unless one proves that he's a devotee, solely, 100% surrender unto the Supreme Lord, then he will not be released from the clutches of Durga Devi. Mahamaya, personified Mahamaya. The spiritual world is Yoga Maya. They are also in uh, what you call illusion. To not understand and realize that Krishna is God. In the spiritual world, they don't care whether Krishna is God or not. They just want to love Krishna. They just want to serve Krishna. They just want to become more and more attracted to Krishna. In the material world, Mahamaya. We are also in illusion. In illusion that the material energy is the one that will keep me satisfied. And Durga Devi, she's a pure devotee of the Supreme Lord also. Katyayani, Parvati, Badra, Krishna, 
Vaishnavi huh? in the 10th canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam before the appearance day of Lord Krishna Yogamaya also was there hmm? and Srila Prabhupada gave a nice explanation of this great personality she is a pure devotee of the Supreme Lord but she cannot face Lord Krishna because uh, she is embarrassed of her service. Hmm? Just like Prabhupada gave an example, just like a maid servant. The duty of the maid servant is to clean the house of the master. Hmm. Sweep the floor, dust take the dust away and she will do this when the proprietor or the master of the house is not around now when the master comes the maid servant is already has left she's already in her maid servants or servants quarters hmm? Sometimes you may notice also the servants, they cannot also actually look directly to the eyes of the master. They will walk and they will be like this. Hmm? Or if they, they will be close by, they will be just looking on the ground near their feet. But not directly. Uh, she's a pure devotee, but at the same time, it's like uh, a thankless task what she's doing. So devotees of the Lord, we also give respects to the demigods and sometimes devotees worship demigods to become pure devotees. Hmm? They may worship also uh, Ganesh to get rid of the obstacles and the path of devotional service. This is written in uh, Nectar of Devotion. So one time Prabhupada, uh, he was asked, can we worship Ganesh? He says, yes, provided you, you give me also a monthly amount of gold. For us, we don't need to. Because, yata taror mula nischanena. If one water the root of the tree automatically the, the the twigs the branches the leaves they all get nourished so similarly if one worships a supreme personality of godhead one can get out of this rat race they call it rat race or struggle for existence if one takes shelter of a bona fide spiritual master. This is what the Sastras say. The injunction of the Sastra is if you want to really become, get released from this miserable condition, the material world, Dukalayam Asasvatam, guaranteed because it is temporary, so it is full of miseries and sufferings. As Prabhupada says, there is no good and there is no bad. There is no joy and there is no sad. There is no happiness and there is no distress. Life means suffering. That is the story of our life. How you want to get out? Tadbigyanar tamsa gurung iba aviga chet. One must inquire and search for a bona fide spiritual master. And Krishna will show, will show to the aspiring devotee a representative, a bona fide representative. And from taking shelter of a bona fide representative of the Supreme Lord, one will receive Krishna ultimately. This is how it works. So due to illusion, we always think that, yes, I'm well situated. 
Mm. Last night we were uh, at a program in uh, Saket Court. There were about uh, 10 or at least 10 judges mm, who worked in the court, Supreme Court. So we're, we're also going to get judged. We're also going to be judged at the time of death. When our time is over, time and tide waits for no one. When our time is over, then we're going to be judged also. What we did throughout our whole lifetime. Yamaraj will, will show us a film. <laughs> Yamaraj will show us a film starting from the uh, the date or the day when we took birth till we become like a small child till we become like a small boy till we become like a teenager till we become like an adult person till we get into our old age which means everyone is old, Prabhupada says. Even a young child is old. Old doesn't mean how old, how many years you already lived. Old age means that is the time before dying. If the child dies after birth, immediately after taking birth, the child is already old. Huh? It'll be, it's like a film. We'll be, we're going to see all of these things that we did. And everything will be having a subsequent reaction. Reactions. If you do good, we'll get good, good result. If we did bad, that means against the law of man, against the law of nature, then we get also result. But if we chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, then there is a good chance we may take birth again as a human form of life if we are not able to perfect it. It's like Ajamil. That happened to Ajamil also. He was brought up in a very Brahminical family. He did not know any sin. Even though while he was doing sinful activities, uh, at the age of 88, he still begot 10 children. And the last child was Narayan. Narayan. He was always chanting Narayana, Narayana, Narayana. Narayana, come here. It's time to eat. It's time to sleep. Narayana, where are you? Uh, he didn't know. He, he was, um, I mean, there, there is no sin that he's not able to commit. Everything in the Manus Law Book, Manus Samhita. It's like Jagayan Madai. Uh, they did all this sinful that you cannot really count them all. Hmm? Chandragupta, who is the Chitragupta, Chitragupta, their uh, memory bank crashed. It's too much, too much sins. Not able to count them all. Ajamil. He was doing oh, so many sinful activities. But he was chanting not to counteract those sinful activities. And at the time of death, he was crying in despair. And that saved him. So, the only solace, the only way how we can fight the stringent laws of material nature is to follow 
the instructions coming from the sastras, take guidance from a bona fide spiritual master, chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra sincerely, purely, and hope against hope, we'll be able to hear the holy names of the Lord at the time of death. Then no more coming back in this material world. No more entanglement. No more miseries. No more sufferings. But, if we want to stay a little while, no problem. Krishna also will make some arrangements for us to stay a little while. Prabhupada says, if you want to forget Krishna, Krishna will make sure that you will forget him. If you want to remember Krishna, all the facilities will be given. We only have two choices, Maya or Krishna. There's nothing in between. If you are in between, it's dangerous. One may go crazy. Fortunate we are somehow, we are on this path, but we have to do our duties. We cannot just sit around and wait for Krishna's mercy to come. Krishna's mercy will come only when we work hard. Working hard means 24 hours a day. Not just, oh, I did already two hours of service. Now I can do anything I want. That's good. That's good enough. Mm -mm. Especially for the inmates, those who live in the temple. More should be expected from us to do. Mm? There should be no idle moment. If we have any idle, Sparapa says, if you have any, if you have got some time, chant Hare Krishna. Sounds easy. But we don't have taste for chanting. That is the problem. That's the last thing we will do. To keep on chanting and chanting and chanting and chanting and chanting. Yes or no? So it's up to us. Don't be also with the struggling for existence. Devote his life Whatever we're doing right now, don't expect something that you will do next life. It just continues. It's just the same. Nothing will change. The materialists are always thinking of something for the better. When they wake up, they always pray, Oh, I wish I had better. I wish something different. The next day, they will do the same thing. Something different. Something better. For us, there is no different. There is no difference. It's the same. It just becomes sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. But it depends on us. We have to force ourselves. This is what you call austerity. Austerity means we want to achieve something very, very valuable. Very, very precious. But I have to act in such a way, even though it is against my will, just to achieve that goal. Nothing comes so cheap in this world. Everyone has to pay some price, and everyone has to grow up in order to achieve that. So we pray today also to Durga Devi that she may release us from her clutches by becoming a devotee. There's no other way how to get relieved 
from the clutches of the modes of material nature. From Jiva Bhuta to Brahma Bhuta. From being bound, Jiva Bhuta, to Brahma Bhuta. Brahma Bhuta, Prasanatma, Nasochati, Nakangshati. Someday that will come. It just depends on the practitioner, sadhaka. How eager the sadhaka to achieve it as soon as possible. Krishna will make sure that that will be done. That will be accomplished. So I stop here. Any questions or comments? Hare Krishna. Oh, yes. Hare Thank you, Maharaj. Uh, those who are worshipping Durga Devi, so Durga Devi is just like jailer, and when they uh, establish good relations with jailer, then they will get some facility in jail only. <laughs> they will not get <laughs> out of the jail. Yes. But Krishna is the king. So when we surrender to Krishna, then automatically we are released from this jail. Yeah, yeah the jailer cannot release a prisoner. The jailer can just give facilities. It's like uh, in some jails, you know, some rich people, they have better facilities than other inmates. And yes, it is allowed. Because the jailer is, he can get something bakshish, you know. But the king, if you if you if you're doing good, you're you're behaving properly, then the king can pardon. Even before, they will not even let you go inside. They just says, no, it's okay. Yes. Pleasing Krishna means pleasing the spiritual master. Pleasing the spiritual master also means pleasing the Vaishnavas. Some are fanatics. They only listen to guru, to their own guru. They only respect their own guru, but they don't respect other Vaishnavas. Krishna does not like that as well. And I've been traveling many places in the world and I've seen that this is the main disease right now. Only my guru. He's the only pure devotee. Anybody else, I don't care. Only when the guru comes, I come to the class. When the guru is not there, I don't come to the class. Even the guru says, come to the class every day. <laughs> and the, and the, the students or the disciples says, yes, Guruji, yes, Guruji. When the guru is around, everyone is so busy. Ah, I'm doing lots of seva. When the guru lives, back to normal. It's a disease. That's eating up our society. Then how can you be released? It's not possible. It's not possible. We have to be consistent. Every day, every day, every day. And we can only maintain that consistency when we chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra sincerely. Not possible. Maybe we're just doing Hare Bol, Hare Bol for some time, then after some time, no more Hare Bol. Anything else? Yes, sir. Hare Bol. Just wait.
Maharaj, you said um, it's our choice. Uh, if we want to remember Krishna, and Krishna will give facility to remember Krishna. If yes. we want to forget Krishna, Krishna will give facility to do. So I was just analyzing that this both the thing is there in my mind. I want to remember also. Same time, because of the conditioning, it is pulling away. No, I'm more attracted to this Maya. This is also. the trick of Maya. This so. is the trick of the mind. Mind right now is not your friend. Mind right now is planning something else to become Krishna conscious. Ignore it. Don't listen. Listen to what the Sastra says. Listen to what Guru says. Listen to the advanced devotees. Same thing with chanting. Maya is tricking you all the time. Oh, maybe I should sleep first. Then I will chant my japa later. I feel a little tired. Oh yes, I, should, I think I should go back to sleep during japa time. This is trick of Maya, trick of the mind. When you ignore the mind, mind will just calm down and you'll be able to hear the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Right now, what you're hearing is not the super soul. When the mind becomes peaceful, then super soul is already rich. The super soul is the other entity, but supreme, who's always with us, who's telling us, guiding us also, telling us what to do, but we don't listen. We listen to the mind because we cannot control our senses. Senses can be controlled only if you use the same senses for the pleasure of Krishna. Then you become peaceful. Then you become happy. Then you become Krishna conscious. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Shila Prabhupada Ki. Nitai Gaur Pimanandi.